Hello, my name is Russell Toll, and here is another short movie depicting a space filling of Zonohedra. I envision a much longer movie devoted to the subject of zonotopal tilings. On YouTube, only short sketches are feasible. I propose that if one can tile any zonohedron whatsoever with smaller zonohedra, then one can fill the entire three space outside the zonohedron with exactly these smaller zonohedra. Here, one of the Archimedean solids, the truncated icosidodecahedron, is tiled rather eccentrically by a large number of zonohedra of a large number of different types. The tiling was created in the wonderful software Mathematica using an implementation of the generalized dual method, or GDM. To me, the GDM is bizarre. One makes an arrangement of planes and to every point of intersection of three or more planes is associated a zonohedron in the tiling. Now, if the number of planes be finite, generally one obtains a zonohedron tiled by smaller zonohedra. But suppose one adds more planes parallel to those already in place and entirely outside any existing points of intersection. Then one obtains a new tiling with the previous tiling embedded entirely within this new tiling. Hence, by adding more and more planes, one fills more and more space, and if the number of distinct planes becomes infinite, then all of the three space is filled. By taking some care with the placement of the various sets of parallel planes, one can ensure that only the same types of smaller zonohedra ever arise. Hence, the smaller zonohedra which tile a zonohedron can always fill the entire space, and to me it is both strange and wonderful that what is so limited and so small, the tiled interior of a zonohedron, can be unleashed to become an infinite quasi-crystalline space filling. Thank you.